In this video, let's try to discuss some basic commands in Python, how to write the basic commands and how to code. But before we code, uh, we need to learn that Python is a case sensitive language, meaning if you are trying to define a variable uh, like sales underscore data with capital S is not same as sales underscore data with a uh, lower case S. So any capital letter or small case letter that you are using, you need to be careful about them. Other thing, uh, just like that, any function that you, you are trying to use, like print function, uh, if you try to use this with the capital P, it will not work because they are two different things. Uh, some basic commands, uh, you can just try to uh, use some basic commands like uh, add addition with plus sign, multiplication with mul star sign, and you can try to just print those things. I will try to run them in spider cell now like we are trying to uh, use some basic mathematical command which is like 571 plus if I try to add 91 we will see the answer if we try to multiply something like 5 into 36 we will get the direct answer and uh, you can try to pr use the print function to get the same result also you can try to print and uh, 571 plus 91 and this will give us an output and uh, we can also try to print a string which would be like this to uh, print a string we need to use uh, two inverted commas and I can just type uh, and this will just print the string value for us next thing is uh, using command line if you want to write if you are working in the editor you can try you will need to use some uh, comments also just to show what you are trying to code and uh, to make the user understand what you have written so for comment you can use hashtag and you can just write whatever you are trying to type you can type and it will not be a part of the code you can if for a single line you can just use hashtag and if you are trying to use a, a paragraph and you want to comment it out you can just use three inverted commas and then write your command paragraph like this and when you are you want to just close this command paragraph you can just again use three inverted commas and this will work next is what an basic error in uh, python looks like if you are trying to use some uh, function and it's a, a wrong function or something is wrong with that function you will see some kind of error and this would how a error would look like if you are trying to use print with capital pre and you are trying to print a string again stat in for and if you enter you will see a basic error and you will see that uh, there is an error what kind of error it is it will just show you and you can try to use google to find what kind of error it is and try to rectify this error some basic commands uh, this is a lab for you you have to practice this out and uh, that's it assigning and naming convention in Python, uh, there is uh, just like R, you can assign new variables, and the name of the variable should be in a particular manner, just like any other programming language. You need to just consider a few things before you uh, assign a name or define any variable. So, in Python, is equal to sign is the assignment operator. If you are coming from R and you have been using less than and hyphen as the assignment operator but here you can use equal to sign for assigning we will try to assign a few things and we'll see how it works okay i'm trying to assign income a variable i'm trying to define a variable the name of the variable is income and if i'm saying income is 12000 if i select and run you can see that income has been stored in the variable explorer over here next thing is what you can do is you can assign a, a numerical variable to x and let's say the value is 30 
I will just select that value and run it. So you can see that previously we had 10 as a value of x. Now we have assigned it to 30. Let's try to assign a value of y equal to 10. And if you run it, you will see that the previous value, if there was, it has been changed to 10. Next thing, also we can use one, uh, we can assign variable as in variable. Meaning if you can, you can assign a z variable, which is a, which is a match of x and y. If you try to run it, it will take the value of x and y and it will run it out. We can also assign any uh, string value also, like uh, I'm trying to assign a name value, which is a string and name is like my name. And if I try to run it by selecting and pressing control enter, I will see that a uh, value has been assigned as a string to variable name which is name and if you want to delete the any variable that you have already assigned you can just use del command and then space and the name of the variable that you are trying to delete and if you select it and press control enter you can see that from the variable explorer you have deleted that variable next thing is printing uh, there is a basic uh, difference in using a print function and directly trying to mm, get the output from any uh, variable. We will first try to print, uh, we will try to use, assign a, let's just play with it. Let's just use a variable name and try to get an output of it. And let's try to print it out also. So here we see that there is a difference just using the name of uh, the variable as an input gives you uh, the output as a value of that variable but when you use the print function it gives you a string representation so it's it's uh, easy for the user to understand for example i can type one more string and we can see how it works i will try to uh, define a uh, variable which is a string which is nickname book name and I will try to assign the value, uh, which is the book name by Arka Venkat sir. Okay, I'm, I have assigned a name of a variable, which is book name, and I will try to run it. Now if I try to, just give the variable name as input it gives us an output with the backslash n included it means that it is just giving us the value of the string okay and when we try to use the print function for that like this we can see that so when we are trying to use a print function it takes the backslash n as a new line so we can see this is how the print worked out next is uh, the naming convention so in python just like any other language uh, when you are trying to define any variable you have to understand how the name uh, the variable name can be defined so the basic rules are you have to must start with a letter it could be a capital case or lowercase letter and it can contain any digit from 0 to 9 and only uh, special string a special character that you can use is underscore that is it and we will try to just use uh, everything and we'll see if it works or not like i'm trying to define a variable 1x which is equal to 2 if i try to use that it is a invalid syntax if i just try to use the x is equal to 2 it will work and can i use a um, point or a period in the name of the variable let's try and we can see that no we cannot use that so and only can uh, way to use a variable is just to use start with a letter and only uh, we can use some few numbers from 0 to 9 digit from 0 to 9 and use underscore to differentiate if you want to define a different kind of variable 